Hello and welcome to Philosophy Bites. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the parable of the gardener and how Anthony Flew, from an atheistic perspective, uh, uses it to attack the existence of God. So, A and B come across what may or may not be a garden. Um, a points out that there's all these kind of beautiful flowers in the garden, despite the fact that there's weeds as well. And A concludes that there must be a gardener coming to tend the plants. B looks at the garden and basically sees kind of disorganisation, chaos. Here, he might acknowledge that there are some beautiful flowers, but there's also lots of weeds as well. So there's B doesn't see any evidence of a of a gardener coming. Clearly, this is an analogy for two people, an atheist and a theist, looking at creation. The theist sees beauty and perfection. The atheist basically sees kind of random chance, chaos, lack of order. So A and B look at the garden and come up with different conclusions as to whether there's a gardener present or not. Now, how does Flu use this? Well, they have a dispute and A can, is still convinced there's a gardener there. So B says, well, let's, why don't you um, get some CCTV and then we'll film whether the gardener comes. And A says, well, maybe the gardener is invisible. B says, let's get some bloodhounds to like smell out the, gar <laughs> the, the gardener. And B B says, A, sorry, A says, well, maybe the gardener is odourless. And then, it, then B says, well, let's put up some electric fences and see if the gardener actually gets electrocuted and sets off the alarm. A says, well, you know, maybe the gardener is intangible and can just walk through fences. Now, Flu says, basically, well, you know, the religious believer won't allow anything to count against their religious beliefs. So that's why he's a falsificationist, because he says the religious believer won't allow the statement God is God exists to be falsified, because whatever evidence the atheist comes up with against the existence of God, A has an answer. Now, Flu uses the term God dies the death of a thousand qualifications. So if you imagine an atheist and a theist arguing about the problem of evil, the atheist points out, well, if God exists, well, why is there so much suffering in the world? All the rape and murder and torture and genocide and also all the natural disasters that cause millions of people to die. And A then says, well, uh, you know, maybe God's got a purpose. Maybe God works in mysterious ways. Um, maybe God has given us free will. So that's why there's rape, etc., so B is basically say, saying that A won't allow anything to count against their beliefs. Wisdom, who wrote the parable, thinks that the A and B look at the garden and they simply both feel they both feel differently about it. So it's a kind of subjectivist view, or the modern term is now anti the anti-realist who says, well, it just depends upon your perspective that an atheist will look at a sunrise and think, well, that's amazing, but they don't see it as evidence of a divine creator, whereas A would look at that beautiful sunrise and think, well, that this is God's love in creation. God's created the sun to keep us warm, to photosynthesize, etc. So A and B both look at the same evidence, but they come up with completely different perceptions. And, and as I say, Flu says, well, the statement God exists is basically unfalsifiable. So that's the parable of the gardener. I hope you found I hope you found that interesting. Um have a think about which position you take. Are you are you more inclined towards A, the theist, the believer, or are you inclined towards B, the falsificationist or the atheist? Who's who is right? Thank you.